was kissing you with my eyes open But you said, you said, keep them closed and be in the moment So I did, I did, did my best to make you feel wanted But what about what I want? What about what I want? And what I wanted was to crash with my hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing a Walt Disney World haul I haven't done a video like this ever I thought it was gonna go a lot more ham this trip compared to what actually happened but I did get a lot of things that I really really liked and this trip was also really really special before we get on with the video I just wanted to do a quick little life announcement update and that is I'm engaged so this trip was extra special for this reason obviously it happened on June 4th so it's been quite a few days since that's happened we also managed to get some really beautiful engagement photos in Magic Kingdom at the end of this video I will show you guys the photos from the photo shoot and how they came out so make sure that you stay until the end of this video for those pictures I just wanted to do a quick announcement and talk about something that I haven't really mentioned all that much on this channel yet. So for those of you who don't know, I have my own online shop called Nerdy Fashion Girl Co. We are a fashion and accessories brand and we are currently specializing in hand pressed items. So we're doing t-shirts right now and we're also doing Disney inspired t-shirts. The current collection is called the Disney Designer Collection because they are Disney and high fashion inspired pieces. So right now I'm wearing one of the pieces. Let me just show you guys. This is the Disney and Designer shirt. Right now we're only offering black and white shirts, um, but the glitter lettering is customizable. This is what this looks like. Everything is handmade and professionally hand pressed. It's also made to order so that we don't produce a lot of unnecessary waste. So if you guys are interested in checking out my business, all of the information will be down below, but it's nerdyfashiongirlco.com and let's get back into the video. I was going to start an order of like timeline order of the days that we were there, but I'm just going to grab whatever is in front of me. So just bear with me right now. So of course, the first thing I have is this Walt Disney World 50th anniversary bag. And this bag is so pretty. I'm actually not going to be using this at all. I'm probably going to frame this just because it is so beautiful. I love the navy iridescent and gold colors that they chose to go with all of this. This is the back. I'm not going to be talking about prices. A lot of these items I already cut the tags off, so I'm not even sure what the prices are right off the bat. So speaking of the 50th anniversary, surprisingly, I was not the biggest fan of the 50th merchandise. And I know they've come out with various little color schemes and lines for the 50th. I just have not really loved anything and I'm a little bit sad. I want 50th merchandise, but I don't want to buy something for the sake of buying it. I want to buy something that I'm going to really be proud of and display. And I was actually surprised about the things that I was excited about, which we'll talk about that more in the video. Okay, I've already used this a few times, but this is the special edition Starbucks Disney World 50th anniversary tumbler. I almost said mug. It's a tumbler. I love the Disney Starbucks cups. I have a bunch of them from previous trips, but this one is just so pretty. It's a little bit iridescent. It's blue. It reminds me of Epcot. It is just the perfect size. It's just the perfect tumbler in my opinion. I really like that the logos are a little bit subtle also. So on the front you have the Starbucks logo, and then on the back it says Walt Disney World 50, the world's most magical celebration, and it is just beautiful. So then after we got engaged, actually the same day that we got engaged, I was already thinking about what I wanted to do with all of our pictures, and we were in the Emporium and we saw this beautiful photo album. And this is the 50th anniversary photo album, so it was so fitting because 
obviously we got <laughs> engaged during the 50th celebration so this is just a great way to have those memories I also want to do more of a a fancy looking photo album type thing for the engagement photos but this is really great for the prints and it is this rose gold castle and the wording is in gold it's very pretty and then the back you have the Walt and Mickey uh, statue silhouette and I love these pages everything is so gorgeous and then it's pretty much your standard photo album. You can fit two photos on each page and then you can write a little something about the pictures on the sides and it says Walt Disney World 50 on the top and there's a little image of Cinderella Castle. So then to commemorate our engagement, I feel like all I'm talking about is this engagement but that's what this trip mostly was you guys. <laughs> so we went to the theater at the very front of the park entrance in Magic Kingdom and there's a little photo that's where like the photo pass area is that's where we went to get our photos and in the very back they have uh, embroidery we bought this really cute Mickey cap and it's for the 50th and I love the iridescent ears so freaking cute again it says the world's most magical celebration on the top and we got it embroidered on the back to say engaged 2022 we selected the rose gold writing that's what they suggested to go and match the ears but also look at the inside really really nice I'm gonna show this because I did bring it back home with me um, I'm gonna put this in my office area but we got uh, a couple of times actually we just brought back one the 50th anniversary coca-cola bottle that they did speci uh, specifically for Disney World and it's just so pretty it's like a nice cute gold and rainbow design and it has the logo for the, the castle with the 50th anniversary on it so I just brought this back with me because eventually these will go away and I will have this to remember it. I can't reach. If you stay on property, you know that you can purchase the refillable mugs. It used to come with the Disney dining plan, but now it's about $20 to buy. So basically you buy the mug your first day and then Every time you go to the food court of your resort, you can just keep refilling your drinks for free. We got two. There were two different designs that we saw at the time, so we each got a different one. This one says 50 on it, and it just has all different types of attractions and the different parks on it. And then the second cup is also a 50th anniversary one. This one looks a little more festive in my opinion. And I like how much you can see the contemporary in this one also. And it's definitely more of the gold and navy blue theme. I think for the last few trips, I've always come home with a popcorn bucket. And no, it's not the Figment popcorn bucket. So we came back with the Mickey popcorn bucket. And I'll show you the mini sipper in a minute. But this is the Mickey popcorn bucket. He's all dressed up in his 50th anniversary outfit. It still kind of smells like popcorn, even though I washed this out. And then I got the mini sipper. So similarly how Mickey opens from the back, she opens also from the back. So she looks adorable in her 50th anniversary outfit, her little dress, her little gold shoes, and her little matching bow. She's also going to be going in the Disney office. Okay, so I only got one mug this trip. Usually I get a lot of mugs, but I didn't see anything super, super amazing on this trip. This, however, I saw maybe a month before our trip, and when I saw it, I knew I needed to have it. The Cake Castle mug. So if you are older, like me, um, a millennial, I mean, then you may remember the 25th anniversary for Disney World, they turned the castle into a birthday cake and it was very obnoxious and pink looking. 
and a lot of people hated it. I was one of the people who really liked it. That's the way I was introduced to Cinderella Castle was when it looked like the cake. So for me, it's extremely nostalgic. And they made this cute mug that looks like that design. I thought that this was so smart to come out with something like this on the 50th anniversary. And it's a really nice size. I love this handle. I don't have the biggest hands in the world, but I hate when you cannot like really grip the mug very well. So I really, really love this mug. Okay, so on this trip, uh, I think the first or the second night, I'm not sure, we watched Turning Red in our room and it was so, so cute. And they had the cute turning red ears. It has the panda on one side and May on the other side. Very cute. And it has a little like Sherpa bow in the middle. I think it's so cute. This is going on my wall of ears. Then they had a special Disney bobble bar collection of uh, ears. I saw, I forgot what the other designs were, but I had seen the Tiana ears on Instagram and I knew I had to have them. I've been on the hunt for some nice Tiana ears over the past few years and I haven't liked any of the designs that much, but this one was just amazing. I love it. It's a velvet green and then it has these gold beads around the ears and of course her crown. I love, love, love Princess and the Frog, so I had to have this and it just glimmers and sparkles so nicely in the light and then finally I got these really cute Paris ears from the French Pavilion in Epcot and it's so pretty it has this really nice bluish rhinestone it has this really pretty bluish sequins design all over with pink accents and the bow has pretty flowers and Eiffel Tower designs on it in pink and the back has the, the blue in the same print and a really cute Eiffel Tower pendant in the middle. When I saw these I knew I had to have them. And those are all the ears I bought. Usually I get more than just three but I was not loving what I was seeing so much. And also, I don't know if it was just me, but um, some of the shops that I was in, the ears were totally bent inwards. I Maybe I have a picture of it, and if I do, I'll insert it here, but a lot of the ears were bent inwards, and I don't know why that was, so I don't really know what that was about. And then, because I just was talking about the French Pavilion, I got my one and only spirit jersey on this trip. Usually I get more than one, and it's always a, like a generic Disney solid that says Disney World on it. This one was from the French Pavilion, and this is probably one of the prettiest spirit jerseys that I found my whole trip, including all of the 50th anniversary spirit jerseys. I was not the biggest fan. I'm really shocked at myself. So on the front, it has Minnie Mouse in Paris, and it says Mademoiselle Minnie on it in rose gold and the print design is just gorgeous it has flowers it has the eiffel tower it's so freaking pretty and the back is the best part look at this back epcot world showcase it says ooh la la on it in rose gold if you've been around or if you know me in real life you know that i love all things rose gold it's one of my favorites so i had to have this of course i got some cute little doggy items for my for my shih tzu teddy i got this really cute little um what do you call it? like a placemat for his bowls and it just has all these different mickeys on it in the shape of a bone this is perfect because he's very messy when he eats and he gets food on the floor sometimes so this is the perfect little feeding mat for him and then we got um a pack of bandanas for him this came in a pack of three this one has disney dogs on them this one says the furriest of them all and this one says stay positive with the disney dogs on it and i really like these because you can put the collar right through and you just click your collar on to his neck and you don't have to tie anything so we're talking about epcot we rode the new guardians of the galaxy ride at epcot my fiance really wanted this before the trip uh, we saw a picture of it it's groot and rocket riding in the ride vehicle so cute and this actually moves 
it moves around, so this is an actual toy. I like seeing when characters ride their own rides on Funko Pops and stuff like that, so this is really cute. I really enjoy my Disney Nuimos. Those are those like little Disney plushies. I like to put them on my shelf, and I like to put them in cute clothes. And my favorite one is my Daisy one. I actually brought her on the trip, and I had her in my little clear Sony Clover backpack, and I bought one Nuimo outfit for her, and it's really cute. So it's just this one. It's a little, a little rainbow mint t-shirt with these little jeans with pink cuffs at the bottom and a little matching sweatband. So I thought it was really adorable. And then I love all things Hello Kitty and I love all things um, adorable, Sanrio, anything that looks like that I will most likely be drawn to it. As much as I like Disney, I equally have a lot of Hello Kitty and cute things also. So I got a couple of Sanrio items. First I got this little Hello Kitty in this bunny outfit and she's in a hot pink bunny suit so she's gonna go on my shelf. Oh these are from the Japan Pavilion in Epcot their little shop which is so so nice it's one of my favorite gift shops in all of Walt Disney World and then this little Hello Kitty keychain and she's in her pink kimono very very cute and yes I actually do use these keychains on my bags and then they had one of these mystery keychains that I bought and I got a Kuropi one so they look like these when you open them and it's kind of like those plastic eggs that you would get in a gumball machine and I got little Kuropi, which is just kind of like a fun thing to do. And then we did buy magic bands on this trip, but they didn't have a whole lot to choose from anymore because I know that the new magic bands are coming in later this year, I think. My fiance got this Hawkeye one, just has Hawkeye on it, and then ugh, I can't remember her name, Kate Bishop, what's her name, on the other side. And this is from the uh, Disney Plus show which was very good. I had a silver one, like a silver glittery one, and I have it somewhere here. <laughs> um, I haven't unpacked everything yet. It is here somewhere. I liked it because it was neutral and it just went with everything and I wear a lot of glittery things anyway, so it just matched everything. I'm just gonna show what I got from Polynesian. So on our very last day, actually our traveling home day, we stopped at the Polynesian because we were desperately looking for luggage. We couldn't find it anywhere. We took the monorail over to Polynesian and got some luggage there. And while we were over there, I had seen that some people on Instagram were posting that they had Alani stuff in the Polynesian Resort. And I can go into this story, but we were actually supposed to go to Alani initially in April. And we had planned it last year in August to go this past April. And unfortunately, we had to cancel the trip. But instead of just flat out canceling the trip, we instead booked this Walt Disney World trip. I really wanted to look to see some Alani stuff, specifically Olu things, which we did find. So the first thing that we found is this adorable tote bag with all of the Duffy and Friends characters on it, including Olu. And it says, Aloha Sunny Days in this pretty rainbow font. And it is mint, which is one of my favorite colors. And the back is just plain. But this is so cute for the summertime. I'm obsessed with this. I love all these characters. I also found Olu. And this is Olu wearing his little fedora, his little like straw fedora hat, and his little jeans, and um, his Hawaiian shirt, and his jeans say Alani on it. He's so adorable. I love this character. He's a little turtle. And then his shell has a little Mickey on it. So freaking cute. I'm really glad that I was able to finally get Olu. And the madness did not stop there. I also got this Olu keychain. It's basically the same as the plush, except he's not wearing the hat. This is him, this is really cute. And then I got another Olu keychain. This was the last one left, so I had to get it. And it's him playing the, I want to say it's a uh, ukulele. And he's in his little, like, uh, what do you call this? Inflatable for, for like a lazy river. Very, very happy I was able to get all this Alani stuff while on this trip. And then my, one of my biggest purchases of this trip that I, I really had to have. If you follow me on Instagram, you may see that I am kind of obsessed with a brand called Sony Clover Lane. I made a video all about Sony Clover and it was for the Sony Clover Lane Target um, collaboration that they did. It was a haul video. You should go check that video out if you haven't already. But 
they sell Stony Clover Lane in Disney World and originally I thought that they only sold it in the Four Seasons gift shop but now it looks like they're starting to bring it into the parks so I did see it at Hollywood Studios. They had some of the Disney Sony Clover Lane prints. They did have some of the Disney Sony Clover Lane printed items and I picked up this backpack, this mini backpack. I had to get this. So this is the Fab Five design, the Fab Five and Daisy design. It has a cute baby pink background. This is the mini backpack, meaning the small backpack. And I'm going to be honest, I feel like this is child size. It was a struggle to get this on and I don't have big shoulders or like super big arms. So I'm pretty sure that this was like a child size one. I do have a regular Sony Clover Lane backpack and it is much bigger. The straps are much longer. So I'm pretty sure this was like a kid size backpack. What I may do myself is I actually might buy a strap and sew it on and make it longer just because it is really, really freaking short. And then it has this little section. You could put um, a bottle of something there or your phone or whatever. I, I know people put patches on these. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put a patch on this one at all. I'm like crying right now. <laughs> So the last items I'm going to show you guys are these beautiful bobble bar earrings that they did for Disney and this is Cinderella Castle and I saw these, who did I see wear these? I saw Molly from All Ears wear these in a video and I had to have them because they were so cute. So it's supposed to look like Cinderella Castle with a little firework above it. And that's the part that goes in your ears. It's so cute. So let me see if I can go closer. They're just so pretty. I actually wore these in our engagement photos. So, eh, everything was so memorable. So that is everything that we bought on this trip. Um, we were there for, in Disney World, for about three full days. And then we did one half day in Universal. And I do have a bunch of other things that we bought at Universal Studios. And I'm going to do a separate video on all of that. But that's everything that we bought in Disney World. I really have so much fun making Disney content on this channel. And I love doing hauls in general. So I will keep posting any type of Disney haul that I do, even if it's not a parks haul, even if I'm just ordering stuff from Shop Disney or from going to the Disney store. For those of you who don't know, my fiance and I have a separate channel together called From NY to Diz, and I will link it down below, but this is basically the channel. We're going to be posting a lot of our films content from this past trip on the channel, so go follow along if that interests you. And that is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this video, and don't forget to stay tuned for the engagement photos. As always, all of my socials will be linked down below, including my Instagram, my Twitter, my other YouTube channels, my Twitch, everything will be linked down below. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye! Sometimes I start to wonder if I should change my mind But when I think back to you I feel the same every time Cause I guess I never loved you like I loved you